The 1860s was a decade in which one of the most terrible civil wars in history was to begin and end. But far from the bloody fields of Gettysburg and Shiloh, changes which were to alter forever the face of the American West had already begun. Telegraphs were spinning a web of voices across the Great Plains, and railroads were pushing steel fingers into the heart of the wilderness. Along their rights of way, new trails were being broken. New towns were born overnight, and settlers by the tens of thousands poured westward and began putting plows to the land the Indian considered his birthright. The inevitable happened. Two totally divergent cultures, Indian and white, met on a collision course. The white man demanded his manifest destiny, the right to take the land he wanted. And the army began the subjugation of the red man with a savagery that plunged this nation into a series of Indian wars that were to last more than a quarter of a century. How many would you say? Oh, about 30 of them. I'll ride on down. Tell them you're coming in to talk. I didn't come here to talk. Form skirmish line. What do you think you're doing? My orders are to attack. Don't give a damn what your orders are, Colonel. There's no need for a fight here. There's a rap hoe down there starving. Besides, they got women and children with them. Nothing they can do but surrender. My orders from General Connor are explicit. I'm not to accept surrender on any terms. And I'm to kill every hostile over the age of 12. You lied to me, Kane. I didn't have any choice. I was told you wouldn't guide us if you knew my orders. Sergeant! Kane! You give the order for a massacre, I'll gut you belly to brisket. Arrest this man! <laughs> Don't take on Knock it! Knock him down! Kill him, sir! Shoot! Don't take on it! Don't take on it!
Nini te, vichatna. Ni hecha. Atani. Chitamna. Approaching main gate. outfit come in here only the wounded sir Kane. he was among the wounded you can 